Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, my dear students? Welcome. Very happy. <laughs> Me too, because it's Friday. We are here. Yeah, very happy. Es, es viernes y el cuerpo sabe que hay que estudiar inglés. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Así es. Es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. Sabe que hay clase. Okay, so <clears throat> I hope you had a nice day today at work. Espero que hayan tenido un buen día en sus trabajos. I know it's hard and everything, but it's not impossible to survive every single day. Hello, Miss Evelyn. Hello, Mr. Américo. Hello, Mr. José Rivera. ¿Cómo sigues? ¿Qué tal va? Hola, don José. ¿Me escucha? No me escucha, don José. José. Hello, Ronald. Hoy le ganamos a Ronald. Miren. Ah. Ronald ya está siempre aquí listo. Cuando yo entro, hoy le ganamos. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Américo, good evening. Could, you, could you fix the sentence? ¿Puedo arreglar la oración, Américo? Sí, sí, teacher. Gracias. ¿Cuál era, cuál era el error? Todo. <ríe> no. Hay que tener un, un gran cuidado con las con la con el spelling. Spelling es uno de nuestros peores enemigos. Tenemos que fijarnos que escribamos la palabra, pero cabalita como va y este no dejar espacios, las mayúsculas, el question mark. Siempre que hay que cuidar todos esos detallitos porque la plataforma es bastante sensible con esos detalles. Que esos detallitos me hacían falta y como venir, de, siempre que vengo del trabajo me pongo a hacer uno, dos, tres, así. Y ya con el cansancio de la vida y todo eso, ya me pierdo. De la vida sí. sobre todo. También. <risa> Qué malilla. Sí, la... como, eh, el cansancio es, de la vida sobre todo. El cansancio todo. de la vida, dice. No, hombre, sí, ya solo un día no. más y no. Y nos faltan no, 30 yo, para jubilarnos. Es que, bueno, en mi casa, en mi trabajo, todo el día ando con un iPad y todo el día la ando viendo. Ah, mire, fe. qué chivísimo. ¿Y para qué ah, la ocupa? Para, ah, para el control. Para, el, para control de, de todas las personas que se llevan y los reportes que se envían directamente ya para la, la oficina de ingeniería. Ah, mire, qué chévere. Fe. O sea, que cada dato capturado ya directamente ya llega a donde los jefes. Ah, no, es que eso sí, es un buen control. Me gusta cuando se optimizan los procesos. Lo único que me estoy quedando ciego, tanto estar viendo lo que es volado. Hay que usar lentes. Sí, hay, hay, bueno, hay cabales, están los lentes especiales. Ay, oh, el buen ejemplo, ¿verdad? yo los tengo y no me los pongo. <risa> <risa> eh, ¿Por qué no? Cuando, ya cuando me pongo los lentes dicen que no, muy, muy serio, dicen no sé qué. Pero... Sí, están los lentes especiales que son cabal para pantallas y son los más recomendados. Entonces, hay que ir, primero Dios. No, hay que ir ahí a Fodem. Ok, so let's start. Today, as I told you yesterday, we are going to have a, a, a final practice, a final review about a third person. We are going to practice the the questions and we are going we are going to practice the all the exercises on the platform to check that we finish with everything so uh, that's what we are going to be doing today so we can have everything uh, done for sections one and two those are the sections that we are going to be working on the platform so uh, that's what we are going to be doing today in the morning, I sent you um, a video about don't and doesn't. I don't know if you had the chance to kind of check it. Les mandé un video, no sé si medio lo pudieron ver. 
Yes. Yes. Ah, hoy no me dejaron en visto. <laughs> That was good. Okay, so the video explains in detail the uses of don't and doesn't, right? The most important is to make the difference with the subjects, right? The subjects are like the most important part of this. So we need to keep track of that. And when we use it in sentences, you have to be very careful, right? And I also, well, yesterday we also checked a paragraph that we are going to be using today. We are going to use the paragraph to practice the third person. And so we are going to do that during today's class, okay? So that's basically it. I am going to start with the with the platform, right? We're going to check the platform first. And, okay, that microphone. Okay. So, one of the first things that I wanted to explain today, and I am going to use my board for that, I am going to explain the use of the WH words in, in questions with do and does. Okay. Cuando agregamos WH words, hacemos otro tipo de preguntas más allá de las que estuvimos practicando ayer. Ayer estuvimos practicando preguntas como, por ejemplo, eh, do you study, do you study English? Okay, do you study English? That's one of the questions that we were studying. Or does she work at home, right? And we have these two questions, okay? Estas dos preguntas en específico usando do and does son de yes or no. The answer for these questions will be yes or no. Like in the questions with the verb to be. Like, is that your teacher? Yes or no, right? Are you a doctor? And for these ones, you have the examples of yes or no questions, okay? La única opción que tenemos para estas cuatro preguntas es yes or no. Si les digo, do you study English? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Do you study English? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, right? That's the answer that you have. Yes, I do. And if you ask me, hey, does she work at home? Does she work at home? Yes, she does or no, she doesn't, right? Yes, she does or no, she doesn't. If you ask someone, right, is that your teacher? Is that your teacher? Is that your teacher? Yes, she is. No, she is not. Those are the only two options. If I ask you, si yo le pregunto a ustedes, are you a doctor? I don't know. No. I don't know. I don't know. No lo sé. No. Yes, I no. am or no, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am no, not, right? I am not. No, I am not. So those are the only options. We don't have an option to say anything else. Yes or no. But what about if we change the first question? Si cambiamos la primera pregunta. Y ya no es do you study English, sino que where? Where do you? Study. I sorry. Where do you study English? What is the difference now? If I say, where do you study English? Uh -huh. I need what? I need information. I need information. Las WH words, ya sean cualquiera de estas, ya sea what, where, uh, who. How, why, which, uh, when, let me see, yeah, when, and any other one? What, where, who, how, why, which, when, I think, uh, no, I think it's okay, with oh. those, oh. any, 
any of this one, any of these words can help you to change the information of a question, okay? Any of these ones can give you a different switch on the question. If I ask you, where do you study English? What is the answer? No me vas a decir, yes. Where do you study English? Yes. In my house. In my house. house. Where do you study English? In English corporativo. At English corporativo, right? Where do you study English? At home, right? Where? Uh, Donde estás estudiando? With INSAFOR, right? I study with INSAFOR. And if I say, who is your teacher? Are you going to say yes or no to this question? No. What is the answer for this? Who is your teacher? My teacher is Nati. Ah, you don't remember my name. <laughs> <laughs> Nati, right? My teacher is Nati, right? Or Nati is my teacher. You can have any of the answers. And if I ask you, how do you study? How do you study English? How? I, I am studying English online. Okay. I am studying English online, or you can say, I study online, or I have virtual classes, right? You can use it in those ways. You can use it in the two forms, right? So that's the difference. The main difference here is that the do and does, the is and are questions are for yes and no. And all the WH questions that we have here, todas las preguntas que incluyan cualquier WH word, son information questions. Ahí necesitamos dar detalles, right? And if I say, imagine that I continue adding more questions and I say, why? Why do you study English? Why do you study English? In this one, ¿qué ando buscando con esto? Why do you study Porque English? Uh -huh. no I'm looking for a reason. Excellent. I'm looking for a reason. Give me a reason. Why are you studying English? Because I, I like. Because I like it. What else? What is the purpose of studying English? ¿Cuál es su propósito de estudiar inglés? Why? Because teacher Nat is the teacher. No, that's not the purpose. I, I know, but no. <laughs> Why are you studying English? Because I want a better job. Because I want to learn. Because I want a better opportunity at my office. Because I want uh, to expand my knowledge because it is necessary in life, because it's a personal purpose that I have, because I want to teach to my family. Why? Why are you studying English? What is your purpose of being here? What is your propósito de estar conmigo estas dos horas todos los días? Porque el inglés es bonito, yes. Pero hay un propósito atrás de todo. What is your purpose? And if you don't know right now, si no me lo saben en inglés, escriban su propósito de estar estudiando en español y me lo dicen. Al final del módulo me lo van a decir en inglés. Why? Una oportunidad laboral. Ajá, because, ok. Quiero una mejor oportunidad laboral. Póngalo ahí en su cuaderno. And then you can translate that. Okay, because I want a better job opportunity. Okay. Because? Because I want a better job opportunity. I want. Because I want a better job opportunity. What is another purpose? ¿Cuál es otro objetivo por el que están aquí? ¿Qué los mueve a estar aquí conmigo este día? Because you need it for your job? No? Para aprender una segunda idioma. To learn, to learn a second language. That's good. To learn a second language. That's a good purpose, right? To learn a second language. 
What is another purpose that you are here? ¿Por qué estamos aquí? Cuéntenme otro propósito. Perdón, me estaba picando un sec. <laughs> Ay, no lo he encontrado. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Because I want to learn another language. Because I want better job opportunity. What is another purpose? Uh, because I like to listen to English music. Good, because I like to listen to English music. Así aprendí yo, pura música. That's how I learn English. Primero porque era bien me quebra. Y segundo porque me gustaba la música. Pero sí creo que ser me que fue lo que más me ayudó. Yeah. Uh, mi propósito es mejorarme profesionalmente. Ok, to improve myself professionally. Right? To change your life, to change your future, to have more opportunities, right? Any purpose that you have, cualquiera sea su propósito, escríbalo en su cuaderno. Escríbalo en español ahorita, si no después lo traducimos o después lo, lo, lo arreglamos. But I need you to write the purpose of you being here. What is your purpose of being in class? Okay? Porque nadie aprende nada si no tiene un propósito para ello. So imagine that you want to learn to play the guitar. And you say like, why? Estás aprendiendo a tocar la guitarra. ¿Para qué? Ah, porque me quiero meter en el grupo de alabanza de la iglesia. Ah, porque a ella le encantan las canciones de trío. Porque le quiero llevar serenata. Ah, so there are many purposes. We don't do things just because. So the information questions are going to look for details about things, right? You are going to look for details on things. You are going to look for more information about something. Okay, Brendita says, una mejor oportunidad para trabajo, a better opportunity to work, right? There is always a space for improvement. There is always a space for that. So with one question, I can get many more examples. Imagine if you tell me, I am a mechanic. Aha, uh -huh. I can say, where do you work? What days do you work? How is your job? Why do you like it? Which is another profession that you like? What days do you go to work? When did you work for the first time? Okay, and I can get more and more and more questions. Con una pregunta que inicie, puedo armar un montón más usando todas las WH words para información. ¿Dónde las ubicamos? Ayer separamos las palabras y separamos todos los complementos de una oración, de una pregunta. Aquí, al principio llevamos WH word, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. Right? Where do you study English? Who is your teacher? How do you study English? Why do you study English? Si se fijan, todos llevan el mismo parámetro. Lo único que hicimos aquí fue agregar, obviamente, la WH word. Que nos va a servir para, obviamente, más información de la prueba. So, on the platform, we have some examples like this. And I wanted to explain them before, right? Les quería explicar esto antes de irnos a la plataforma, porque en la plataforma están unos ejemplos iguales a estos. So, let's move on business. And I am going to show you the sentence, sorry, the paragraph that we were working on yesterday, el párrafo que estuvimos trabajando ayer, about the teacher, right? Do you remember the information about the teacher? Yes or no? Do you remember Mr., uh, what was the name of the teacher? It was Mr. Miller, I, I think it was Mr. Miller. And here we have it. Let me open it for you. Okay, here it is. Here I have Mr. Miller, right? Mr. Miller is the one on the sentences that we had yesterday. So 
what we are going to do right now is we are going to work with a transformation exercise. We are going to work with a transformation exercise. And for this one, we are going to have, well, we're going to, I am going to start and then I am going to have you working in groups and you are going to complete the exercise. I am going to start with you. I am going to do the first part and then you are going to work on the second section. Let me send the picture on the chat so you can have it. And okay. Then Alicia. Okay. ¿Quién me puede entrar? Hay alguien que no puede entrar a WhatsApp, a WhatsApp, a Zoom this. Sí, creo que ese es un problema de internet. Okay, let me send the picture on the chat because you are going to use it. And we are going to start, okay? Smile. Oui. We are going to start with the first section right here. The section, uh, the, the beginning of the sentences, it's in simple present first person. And it says, I am an English teacher and I have a big family. If we want to transform this sentence into third person, how will you do it? Esta oración primera. Vamos a trabajar con esta oración nada más. There you go. I am an English teacher and I have a big family. How will you transform that sentence into third person. ¿Cómo le pasaríamos a tercera persona? How would you Me? make it? <clears throat> ah. ¿Cómo lo hacemos? A ver, dígame. El verbo ha cambia a has. Ajá. This is the first one, right? This will be has. Okay, we will have has here. Has. What else? How would you transform the first one? And let's go for this one. I will use the board. I am an English teacher and I send it to you. I am an English teacher and I have a big family. How would you make that sentence into third person? He is. He is an English teacher. And he has a big family, okay? He is an English teacher and he has a big family. Esa sería nuestra primera oración, right? Let's go back to the paragraph. He, he is an English teacher and he has a big family. Sigamos. So I have a very busy daily routine. So I have a very busy daily routine. ¿Cómo transformamos esta? So he. Uh -huh. Vamos, so la llevan bien. So, so he, he has, has. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, very busy. I'm very bus busy. 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 I'm very busy daily routine. Okay, let's continue. And here we have, so he, so he has, has he a very has busy, busy daily, daily routine. routine. Okay, so he has a very busy daily routine. We're going good, right? Vamos bien, vamos bien. Let's continue. Let's continue here. First, I get up every day at six o'clock. Let's stop here. Get up. First, so I say first. First, he gets. He gets up, right? First, he gets up. At every day. Every day at, at six, six o'clock. Good job. Excellent job. Let's go to the board. So you say first. Right, first, first, comma, what was it? First, he, he, 
He gets up. He gets up at six o'clock. At six o'clock every day. No. So I have a busy First, I get up every day at six o'clock. So he gets up every day at six o'clock, right? What is the next verb? Get. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's go back. Se me olvida que tengo que partir la pantalla. Okay, there we go. So first, I get up every day at six o'clock. The next one. Get. Gets. Wash. Get. Wash. Washes. And. Wash. Um, and dress. This one dress. doesn't change because you have get wash and dress. El que vamos a cambiar en este es get. Gets wash and dress. Porque es me baño y me cambio. Right? It's one sentence. Gets wash and dress. And leave for work by 7.30. And leave for work by 7.30. Okay, I will make it. <clears throat> and here. So it says he gets washed and dressed and leaves for work by 7.30, right? So you say gets washed and dressed and leave for work at 7.30, okay? So let's go back here to the board and let's go back to the text. Um, gets washed and dressed, right? And leave. And leaves for work. And leaves for work at seven thirty. At seven thirty. Okay. Okay. And gets and leaves. Aquí me equivoqué al de abajo. Let me just go back here. Gets washed and dressed and leaves for work by 7.30. Okay. So that's the first part of the paragraph that we are going to work. And leaves for work by 7.30. And there you have it. The next part of the paragraph is the one that you are going to work. Okay. You know what you are going to do. I get to school at eight o'clock, right? I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. Okay. Una oración como esta, por ejemplo, que es informativa, no la vamos a traducir. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. ¿Por qué? Porque ahí nos está dando información de qué pasa. I teach again in the afternoon. Sí, lo seguimos traduciendo. Lo seguimos transformando, sorry. And then I correct my students' homework and test. After I get back home, I help my kids with the homework. I have, I have three kids in elementary school. Esto es información. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Desde I have three kids in elementary school, their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Esa es información. Esa no lo vamos a pasar a tercera persona. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel shows. Esto tampoco, porque es información. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Esta última, sí. Okay, so we need to be very careful at the moment of translating, okay? We are going to be uh, careful at the moment of transforming because this one, for example, is not going to be translated and it's not going to be transformed. And this one, estas se quedan así como están, okay? Lo único que vamos a cambiar aquí es he has. Sorry, it's not this one. Eh? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. Come on. Lo estoy haciendo para que despierte. Sorry. <laughs> and in this part. Sorry, sorry. 
I have three kids in elementary school. Esta sí la vamos a transformar. Pero donde dice their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. No, this one. Not. And we love to watch travel shows. Eso tampoco lo vamos a transformar, pero todas las demás sí. Okay, so you are going to work in groups of three. You are going to work in groups of three and you are going to write. Only one of you is going to write, okay? Uno de ustedes es el que va a ir escribiendo, <coughs> preferiblemente el que esté en alguna computadora o el que tenga ahí un, un Word o un Note abierto. Okay, I will send it again. And this is what you are going to keep working. You are going to keep transforming this into third person. You have the example, right? You are going to follow the example that I have here on the board. This is the example, okay? Este es el inicio y eso es lo que vamos a ir, por lo que van a ir ustedes escribiendo, right? That's the first part. Any question? Do you have any question? <coughs> ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer con nuestro grupo? Yes, no. Vamos a convertirlas en interrogantes, las que no están subrayadas. No, no, no. Las que están, las que no están subrayadas, las vamos a pasar a tercera persona. Tercera persona. Ok. He is an English teacher and he has a big family. So he has a very busy daily routine. First, he gets up every day at six o'clock, gets washed and dressed, and leaves for work by 7.30. You are going to continue the story, okay? Si no tenemos dónde escribirla, pues la escribimos en el chat. Acuérdense de copiarla, porque cada vez que, cuando la sala se cierra, el chat se borra. Entonces, si la escriben en el chat, copienla antes de que, de que salgamos de la sala. Si no, lo pueden hacer en un blog de notas, lo pueden hacer en el grupo de WhatsApp, si quieren. Eh, lo pueden hacer en un note, en un word. It's okay. You can do it. Okay. So, there you go. Groups of three. And I need all of you to participate, please. Mr. Edwin. Oh, I have two sessions with you. Wait. Um, yes. Oh. Teacher, what? Oh, you and teacher. Dime. Este, me vengo conectando porque me desconectó. Este, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Ahorita vamos a trabajar en grupos y cada grupo va a transformar el párrafo que les envié al grupo de WhatsApp en tercera persona. Okay. Ahí este, ya les di los ejemplos. Están los, es, los dos ejemplos en el chat. Les voy a ir asistiendo a cada grupo. No se preocupen, voy a llegar a cada grupo. Así que por si tienen alguna duda, pregunta o algo, no se asusten. Yo, yo voy a estar ahí ayudándoles, apoyándoles. El párrafo que vimos el día de ayer, que fue el que les envié primero, es el que van a pasar a third person. Okay. Let's go to the groups. Right now. Okay, accept my invitation, please. Lina, me avisa si le doy la invitación. Mr. Edwin recibió la invitación. Thank you.
Thank you. Selena? Selena, ¿me escuchas? Ahí estamos. So, let's go and check how they are doing. Hello, Griselda. Hello, Griselda. Hi. Hi. We are working Hi. in group. We are working in groups right now. We are doing a transformation exercise. Estamos haciendo un ejercicio de transformación. El párrafo que vimos el día de ayer. This one. We are transforming mm -hmm. the paragraph in third person. Lo estamos transformando a tercera persona. Y, por ejemplo, hacíamos el ejemplo de las primeras oraciones del párrafo. I am an English teacher and I have a big family. So, for this one, we have the example here. He is an English teacher and he has a big family, right? He is an English teacher and he has a big family. So, we are transforming the paragraph from I to he. And we are changing the verbs and we are changing all the information in the paragraph. So, in the second sentence, it says, so I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up at, every day at six o'clock, get washed, dressed, and leave for work by 7.30. And on the transformation, we have, first, he gets up every day at six o'clock, gets washed, and dressed, and leaves for work by 7.30. So that's what we are doing in the groups. I am going to send you to one group, for you to work with your partners, okay? Okay, this would be the first paragraph. No, they have all the paragraph complete. The rest of the paragraph is what you will continue to transform. Okay. Okay, good. So I am going to send you here. I am going to send you to the group number three. Okay, there you go. Me avisa si le llega la invitación al grupo. No. No. Ok, te voy a enviar una. Me la trajo de vuelta. Me la trajo de vuelta. La moví justo cuando me dijo, no. Y sí, sí, le había llegado. <risa> Ahí está, hoy sí. There. Me la trajo de vuelta. <risa> ok, vamos a ver. La voy a mandar a otra. Ya ven, no me la quiere mandar a la sala 3. Ahí sí. Ok. Things are a little bit complicated sometimes. Let's go and check how the rest are doing. Va, ahí viene la ayuda. Ok. Uh, ajá, ajá. Estamos en, 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 en I plenaria. prepare my lesson in the teach you until noon. Ajá. Están diciendo los compañeros que tendría que este, ser he prepares. Dijo Américo. ¿Cómo dijo Américo usted? It o de. Porque mine no es. Ese lo vamos a no. cambiar. 
No, eso se va a cambiar, ¿verdad? Sí, sí todo. Para decir tú. Ajá. So, you have, in which sentence are you right now? ¿En cuál oración van? En, después la de 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. La, la, la que está después ah, de eso. I prepare my lessons. Sí, exacto. So, you say, ¿qué es lo que tienen sí. ahí? He prepares. He prepares. Ajá, es. es que en, en esa discusión estamos del my. ¿Por qué Ajá. no tiene que ser Pero my? Dice, si, él, si usted oh. me dice, he prepares my lessons. Son las no, mías. Mejor, He ajá. prepares. Ajá. De él. Tú. Sí. Exacto. ¿Cuál era el suyo sí. de él? He is. Very good sí. job. Eh, vaya, He ay, prepares ay, his ay, lessons. Ay. And then. What is then, that? He prepares. He prepares his lessons. And then. And teach, then no. teach. ¿Cuál es la tercera persona de teach? Teach. 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 Teaches. Termina en CH, se le agrega ES. Teaches uh -huh. and teaches uh -huh. until uh -huh. noon. Wow. Ok, la frase que les marqué: The other teachers and I always, always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. Esa queda igual. Uh -huh. Vamos a pasar hasta I teach again in the afternoon. Teacher, teach en español es enseñar. Enseñar, ok, y es que tenemos dudas en traducción. <risa> no, that's okay. Bien. It's correct. Ajá. That's good, that's Como good. Enseñar, sí, porque eh, bueno. eh, siempre al CH le agrega ES, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y también al. ¿Cuál es eso? CH, SH, X. Ajá. Ok. Ajá. So you say, Ajá. I teach again in the afternoon. It is? Sería ahí Ah, porque la frase The other teachers and I Esa no la vamos a traducir, la que les había marcado No la vamos a transformar, perdón I teach again in the afternoon He He teaches Again Again In the afternoon And then He Correct Correct. Okay. Yeah, ya va bien caminado ya. Voy a otra sala. Continue, continue. Okay, gracias. My. He held his skills. He held his skills. He helps. He helps. His kids with their homework. Homework. <laughs> with their homework. Eso no les cambia. I have three kids in elementary school. With the... the... He, he, he has... He has... Very good. He has... He has... Three kids in elementary school. Ok, aquí ya van más que encaminados. Voy al otro grupo. Ok. Yo, yo me quedé donde he helps. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. He, he helps. Todo Salud. la más de lo mismo. He's, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sería my he helps. He is He helps his kids uh -huh. with uh -huh. their homework. Yes. Ya la tenemos. Esquivámosla entonces. ¿De quién la tiene ya? No la han escrito. <ríe> no la han escrito. <ríe> ah. Griselda, no la escribiste. No, Astrid, ¿cómo siguió? Ya mejor, teacher. Que me alegra. Nos contaron que estaba malita allá. Sí, ahora también ha estado algo malita, pero ya un poquito mejor. No, pues, que me alegra tenerla aquí. Gracias. Ok. Ajá. ¿En qué vamos? ¿En oh. cuál oración vamos? La segunda apenas. <laughs> ok, so we go. <laughs> Let me see. Um, I get to school at 8 o'clock. Done. Eso ya estuvo. Yes. Ya, ya. I, I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. Ajá. Uh -huh. No sé si tenemos un verbo es teach. Ajá. Teach es el verbo. Ajá. Ajá. I prepare ah, okay. my lessons. ¿Sería ahí? 
he is. Ajá, sería he prepares. La duda es si, si teníamos que borrar la, la my. Ajá, porque tendrían que ocupar. Este, si sería... son suyos de él. De él. Sí. Is very good. Is. Ajá, sí. Is. He prepares his lessons and then teaches teaches until noon and teaches until noon. Ahí la frase que no cambia. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. Esa queda igual. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí. I... Eh, I teach again. ¿Cómo hacemos esa? Ese. Ajá, pero ¿cómo la transformamos? He. ¿Cómo, así? ¿Cómo, cómo hiciéramos toda la oración? Sería. He. Uh -huh. He teach. He teach. ¿Cómo cambiamos el verbo teach a tercera persona? Teach. Ese le agregamos. Ese, ajá. Entonces es teaches. Teaches. Ok. Again, in the afternoon. So, and then. Then también. No, no, el then no se cambia. Ahí el sujeto. And then he. And she, he, uh -huh. también, incorrect. And then he, corrects, right? Correct. Correct. And my lo quitamos también. Ajá, ¿no? uh -huh, because you cannot use, and then he corrects my students. No, and then he okay. corrects. Okay. Continue fighting for that. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Sigan ahí. Ya van medio encaminados, don't worry. Thank, thank you, Steve. You're welcome. Sería. Hello. Se le cambia por el de el teach. He teach again teach. in the afternoon. afternoon. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es la tercera persona de teach? The teach. Teaches. Teaches, very good. Teaches. Teaches. <laughs> Muy bien, a mi estudiante ahí que no te la respuesta. <laughs> He teaches, right? He teaches. Gracias. Gracias por la He teaches, right? Yes. Muy bien todo. Y la siguiente que sigue después de esa que acabo de mencionar es he corrects. And he corrects, very good. Uh -huh. And he corrects. Pero no puede decir he corrects my. He corrects. His. 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 Exactly. His. Uh -huh. His. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. Dígame que él también está inscrito en las clases, si no estamos perdiendo un buen elemento. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. You're helping. Don't worry. So, and then, and then he corrects his students. And then he corrects his students' homework and tests. After he gets He mm -hmm. gets, uh huh, back home exactly like that. There you have he it. Gets. Ahí vamos. And then he gets back home. Okay. Uh, he gets my kids when he they're in. He helps my kids. They're in when. Uh -huh. Pero home. he helps his kids. It's. He helps his kids. Porque no podemos decir he helps my kids. Porque si no serían los míos. His kids. He helps his kids. Yes. Sí, es cierto. Yes. I have. Eh, I have. I have. ¿Cuál? ¿Cómo um, pasa? He, 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 he has. He has. He has. They're in kids. Three in, kids. He has three kids. Three. In yes. elementary school. In elementary school. 
Ahí no, vamos Them. a cambiar eso. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Eso no lo cambiamos. Sí, sí. Then he. Them. He. The. He does. does. Good, good, good. He does. Continue, continue. Ya van bien encaminados. Sigan ahí a nuestros tres elementos. Él, vale, me, él me representa, don José, que no, no, no me escucha. <ríe> don José, me escucha, don José. Yo creo que él no se va. Ah, no está, no está. No está, don José. Pero bueno, no, no, tenemos no, un pero... ayudante. Sí. It's okay. <ríe> Thank you. Pero se vale. Se vale. Por eso, por eso. Se vale. No es don José, es don... ¿Don quién nos está ayudando? Don Julio. Ah, pues don Julio. José Julio, yeah, there you go. <ríe> Thank you. Ok, continue working. I will come back in a second, ok? Ok, ok. Además lo va a poner igual, but home. Vaya, lo acabo ya. No, ajá. Ah, about no, to finish. Visita. No, I am uh -huh. here checking. I am es checking. visita de la profe. Ya, ven, ven. Yo para que no había terminado el tiempo. No, no, no come on. Hoy, hoy, hoy como les vengo a ayudar, no me dijo Américo, ya nos cayó la ley. Ajá, <laughs> <laughs> because in every class when I go and I'm like hello still ya no cayó la ley mm. <laughs> the police no come on mm. the teacher is here you say come on I am here to help you every time that I enter is to help you in which sentence are you working which sentence are you working en cual van Ahorita estamos after. Tremenda. After I get ahí back verdad, home. Sí, ahí voy. After I get back home. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ya estamos. Estamos after, after, after he, 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 gets, he gets, gets back, back home. home. Get back home. 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 He, 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 no, he, he helps. 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 Very good. El ya, Brenda. Ya. Sí. Dice el jefe cambia a has. Yes. He has. He has three kids in elementary school. In elementary school. He has three kids in elementary school. Y de nuevo sería. Ya me perdieron esto. No, hombre, aquí está. Ah, ah, no, no, no. He has. Oh, vale. te perdiste. Espera, ah. que me fueron bien adelante, ya me dejaron. No, hombre, vamos ahí apenas en <risa> he has. Américo, Américo ya había copiado. Sí. Y... Pues sí, pero la que dijo. No, no, mal que dijo que era listo. Hey, sí, no, es no, pero, listo. Pero, listo. pero, pero sí, cuando listo. viene la teacher y lo dije, y lo ah, corrí, cuando viene la teacher, no, no, ahí, no, ahí no, escribo no, rápido. No, no, no. Es que me puedo tener nervioso por eso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <risa> Brenda, Brenda. Mande. Ya, ya copió ahí, hasta ahí. Brenda, es cool. Sí. Es cool. <risa> Brenda, a ver si la hizo me regañe. Teacher. Yes. Es que ellos me están enseñando a mí. No, that's correct, that's good. That's the purpose of the group. That is the purpose of working together. Por eso me dice, no. ya Brenda, ya Brenda. Ya no, Brenda. si ya copió, si ya copió porque si sí, Brenda, Brenda puede. No, si es que to, todos pueden, sí. todos ustedes. Miren sí. que si ustedes no tuvieran las capacidades, no les pusiera ejercicios como este. Allá los tuviera con A, B, C, A, B, C. No, right? So, uh, it is necessary. It is necessary that uh, we work together, okay? Teacher. So, yes. Lo, lo bueno que me pone con personas más que saben más, <ríe> así aprendo. Aquí nos complementamos sí. todos, ¿ok? Don't worry. That's the idea. ¿okay? She cambia has. El have cambia has. Have has, yes. Uh -huh. Have has. has, have, have, have. have. Yes. Pero mi letra no me enorgullece. Yo no creo la... que no hay ninguno. Ni la mía. Porque yo tengo un montón de manchones. 
Pienso que, no, pero pienso lo hice que. con lápiz. ¿Ah? Yo lo hice con lápiz, pero no se ve mucho. He tenido mejores letras que esto. It's okay. The idea is that you get the final objective of the class. Okay. The idea is that you got the sentences ready. Okay. Aquí no les voy a evaluar escritura, no les voy a evaluar ortografía, no les voy a evaluar si se veía bonita la caligrafía o no. Les voy a evaluar el hecho de tener la capacidad de transformación. That's what I, that's what we are working on right now. No. I know this is a difficult exercise, not for beginners, but you can do it, right? Me decían por ahí, teacher, este es un ejercicio bien avanzado. Yes, but I know you can do it. Si supiera que ustedes no lo pueden hacer, no se los pondría. And I know you can, right? I know you're, I know you're, you are capable of doing this. So, yes, you can do everything that you want. It's complicated, Perdón. yes, but you can do it. If y not, como... ya vamos a trabajarlo juntos. Una captura. ¿A dónde? No, si lo pueden, si le pueden mandar una, una foto. Lo vamos a ocupar ahorita que regresemos al salón todos. Ah, ahí bien. vamos a trabajarlo todo. Don't worry. Sí, si no yo pueden... lo tengo con lapicero así, ven el cuaderno. Ok, mándenos una foto en el chat. El tuyo, Rona, la ven. <risa> ¿Cómo? Y, ahí pones, y ahí le pones equipo. 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 Es horrible. It's ok. Ay, Ronald, dale, levanta el tuyo para ver cuál está mejor. <risa> Ponelo cerca cuando lo miro. Ah, it looks beautiful. Come on. Está no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Tiene muchos manchones. Sí, que es... Uh, no, no sé qué es. <laughs> okay, don't worry. We're going, to, we're going to check it. Don't worry. Okay, my dear students, we are about to finish. Make sure that you save your work and send a picture, only one picture from the group to the WhatsApp chat, okay? Okay, the students are coming back from the groups right now. Aha, uh -huh. welcome back. Welcome back to the class. There we go. I know it was a difficult exercise. I know, I am sure, but I know that you did your best to finish, okay? Por ahí les decía un grupo, si yo supiera que ustedes no tienen las capacidades, allá lo estuviera cantando el ABC. Pero no, yo sé que ustedes pueden hacer cosas grandes. ¿Qué tal el reto? ¿Estuvo bueno? ¿Más o menos? Good. Huh? Thank you por la confianza. <laughs> Ajá, it was interesting. No, I trust you, right? Si se vieran con los ojos que yo los veo, ay Dios, ya están graduados. <laughs> you have to, you have to do it like that, okay? 
exactly as you see so, me as a great teacher, I, I feel it and I challenge myself to do it. So I see you as fantastic students. So over okay. there, over there, over there. Okay, let's work. Let's work on this one. I need, I need different volunteers to help <laughs> me with the sentence. I am going to color the sentences, okay? I am going to choose from the different groups, okay? Voy a jalar ahí de diferentes grupos. I am going to start with Ronald, porque es el primero que me sale aquí en la cámara. Ronald ah, Ulises. I don't know. <laughs> Representing the group. Ronald <laughs> is going to go in this one, right? All the pink one, okay? Vamos, Ronald. Todo lo que está en rosado. Todo lo que está en rosado. Todo lo que está en rosado. Yes. Okay. Dice, he gets to the school at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. He he prepares his lesson and and then teach teach until now. He teaches, 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 not peaches, teaches, 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 and then teaches until noon. He gets to school at eight o'clock. He prepares his lessons and then yeah. teaches until noon. Excellent until job. Noon. Excellent job. Todos los demás grupos los tenemos que tener exactamente igual. Let's continue with Mr. Oh, yeah, the only thing. Oh, yeah. tenemos nueve. Yeah. Solo una S nos faltó. Solo una S nos faltó. S. Teaches. Teaches. Yes, yes, yes. Teaches. Mr. Edwin. Todo lo que está en verde. Aquí lo teníamos, teaches. Excellent. No, no, Luis. Solo nos faltó una S en el teacher. En el... En el... Lo que está en verde. <laughs> I don't okay. listen and help me. Oh, see, yeah, done. Go ahead. Si, si, boy. You see, he has. No, lo que está en verde. He. Lo que está en verde. He has, no, pero me quiero ver, sí, sí. Sería así, he has, okay. teacher. He, aquí okay. comienza, I teach again in the afternoon. La oración normal es, I teach again in the afternoon and then I correct my students' homework and tasks. So it will be, Sí. Ya, puede ayudarle a alguien del grupo ahí. Sí, que me ayude porque aquí me trabé yo. He ahorita. teaches. He teaches. He teaches again, 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 again in the afternoon. afternoon. And then he corrects his students' student. homework and test. Fantastic. Fantastic job. He teaches again teaches. in the afternoon. And then he corrects his students' homework his and tests. Student. And tests. And tests. Very good job. Very good job. You did it. And you did it good. Very nice. The next one. It's going to be for Roxana. ¿Dónde voy? Eh, lo que está en rojo. Rojo. Eh, rojo. After he gets back home, he hurts my kids with their Ahí dele, puede ayudar, vamos. After no, he he has 
Thank you. Ah, ah, ba. After he gets back, he has on. three kids in elementary school. Yes, he has three kids in elementary school. Good, Roxana, you did it. Very nice. <laughs> After he gets back yeah. home, he I helps. Person. No, it's okay. It's okay. He no. helps his kids. Eso sí. He helps his kids. <laughs> que tenemos que cambiar my for his. He's hablando de he, right? He helps sí. his kids with their homework. The he homework. has three kids in elementary school. El, esto no cambia. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Let's continue with this one. This one is going to be for, let me see the next group. It's going to be for, okay. I got Edwin, I got Aide, I got Luis. Okay, I got Ronald. And I will have Evelyn. Okay, the select blue one, yes. Then I does some exercise. Then I does. He, estamos hablando de él siempre. Then oh, sí. he yes. does some exercise. He eat yes. dinner with his your family and with, watch. TV. Okay, he eats dinner with his. It's, his family and watch TV. And what? Before he watches TV. He goes to bed at about 10 o'clock. Very good job. Very good job. Then he does some exercise, eat dinner with his family, and watches. Watches. Mm -hmm. ese, uh, watch it. TV oh, before it. he goes to bed at about 10 o'clock. Excellent. Watch. Job. Watch. Watch. Que, es, llevar es, es. Es. Exactly. Uh -huh. Vamos a terminar con. Uh, we're going to work on this one. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Vamos, mi clase completa. ¿Cuál es la última frase? Finally. Before he falls, he asleep. What is to fall asleep? To fall asleep. Caer. Dormir. Dormir. Irse a dormir. Finally, he reads in bed for a few minutes before he falls asleep. Nice, challenging exercise. I just loved it. It was very good. A big clap for everybody. Por favor, desen todo un aplauso. Ahí yo sé que lo logramos. Nos costó, pero lo logramos. Very good job. You did a good job. Very good job. It was a very nice job. Y como yo los quiero tanto, ¿verdad? No, este se lo voy a dejar para que se diviertan el fin de semana. Diviértanse el fin de semana. Ay, teacher, come on. It's necessary. Para descansar el fin de semana. Tienen sábado, domingo y lunes. Three days. Yo te trajo mañana. Yo también. Y el domingo también. En la tarde, América. <laughs> Descansen, hombre, no, no, trabaja. no vayas a dormir, llega a trabajar. <laughs> okay, so I am going to send it on the chat as well. Ese agárrenlo ahí de diversión, agarren unas oraciones en la mañana, unas Como después. Hobby. No lo hagan todo en una sentada. Si lo pueden hacer ahorita. Teacher. Hola. Y el lunes va a haber plaza. No. 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 Lo va a mandar al chat, teacher. Ya vamos a terminar, mi amor. Teacher, lo va a mandar al chat. Ya lo envío. Okay. okay, good. So, I send it, I send it to you in the chat, okay? 
Ya está ansioso ahí mi compañero que ya quiere ir a dormir. Ok, good question. On Monday, we don't have classes on Monday because it's Labor Day. Ok, es el día del trabajo. Ese día no hay clases. Ok, so I know you want to have the class, but no, no classes that day. Ok, Yay. No. a las 7, teacher, ¿dónde está? Aquí en los planes. Sí. No, no. no. It's like, teacher, ¿dónde está? Yo estoy en clase. No. Eh, rest in bed, rest in your house. You have work to do. Tienen tarea que hacer, o sea, entretenido, van a estar. Don't worry. So, eh, on Monday, no clases. So, you have a long weekend ahead. I am going to wait for you on Tuesday, ¿ok? El martes, sí, aquí lo puedo estar esperando, 5 a las 7 conectado, ¿ok? Uh -huh. so, please, on Tuesday ya, frescos y descansados. Ya no van a venir, ay, mi che, no. No, frescos, listos. I am going to call the attendance before we go to the platform. Antes de que nos vayamos a la plataforma, les voy a pasar lista para que podamos ir tranquilos. Ok, 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 ok. Remember when you listen. When you listen. <risa> Mire que Big Fórmula 44, el mejor no nos paga nada por estos comerciales. Ni las palagres tampoco. Astrid Abigail Argueta. Present. Okay. Aidelizania. Present. Brenda Elizabeth Cerón García. Here. Brenda Elizabeth Martínez Mejía. Present. Celina Janet Arevalo Rosales. Present, teacher. Thank you. Diana Carolina Meléndez de Rosa. Presente. Edwin Ernesto Sánchez Gallegos. Present. Evelyn Present. del Carmen. Thank you. Evelyn del Carmen García Pérez. Present. Griselda Yamilet Velázquez de Paz. Here. Isabel Rocío Vázquez Alfaro. Present. José Antonio Rivera. No, present. He's here. It's here. <laughs> But no present. Luis Américo Rivas Martínez. Here, teacher. Luis Humberto Parrilla Morales. Present. Present. Marta Alicia Montano García. Chile. Present. Norma Yamilet Beltrán Carpos. Present. Odalis Marisol Bonilla. Present. Ahora con luz, dígame. Ronald Ulises Alvarado Mejía. Present. Roxana de Jesús Rivera de Valladares. Present. En Yolanda Beatriz Carranza Rauta. No present. No, almost no, no. perfect. I had an almost perfect class. So let's go back to the platform. Yeah, Griselda is here. Griselda is right here. Por ahí está. A ver, hola, ahí estoy. <laughs> ya le está no, levantando no. falso. Ya. No la veía. Ok. ¿Y el niño que tiene pues? Y ya terminó. Thank you. I am going to silent all of you because I need to explain the platform, okay? Los quiero, pero les voy a silenciar el micrófono porque voy a explicar. We are going to go here on the daily routines, right? This is the unit that we just finished and we are going to uh, check that we have all the exercises ready, right? Remember that this is the one that you need to finish by this week, okay? Hasta aquí tendríamos que haber llegado ya en la plataforma, así que porfa, si tienen algún ejercicio que todavía no han terminado al 100%, terminenlo hoy en la noche para que no tengan nada más que hacer el fin de semana. These are the sentences that we were organizing at the beginning, right? I remember. And The, the first one says, I sleep at night. Remember the period at the end, the capital at the beginning. La mayúscula al principio, el punto al final, y revisen que no tengan espacios en el medio. He works in a factory, right? You go to the cinema. 
She doesn't speak Portuguese. Si de repente la plataforma les da problemas porque no tienen el apóstrofe correcto, copien el que está en la plataforma. ¿Ok? Copien este apóstrofe de aquí, este doesn't, para que no tengan problemas. Porque a veces el teléfono tira la tilde o tira otro que no es el correcto. She doesn't speak Portuguese, right? Profe, Portuguese. Yes, yes. Una pregunta, a mí me salió mal a las últimas dos, no sé si sería por esa, por eso, por el yeah. apóstrofe. It can be, it can be, right? Uh -huh. Puede ser el, sí. puede ser el apóstrofe. Entonces, me para que... toda la tarde copiar ese apóstrofe, teacher, hasta le escribí el sábado, ¿se acuerdan? I know, I know. Claro, lo hallé. Pero aquí... Esas dos, esas dos me han salido malas, pero por lo que estoy viendo es el apóstrofe. Es el apóstrofe, me... ajá, porque si portugués tiene que llevar mayúscula, punto al final, y obviamente al principio la mayúscula, revisen que no tengan doble espacio, porque ese es un problema grande, right? Sí, She también. doesn't speak Portuguese. Y entonces de aquí, lo que pueden hacer es copiar el de aquí arriba, le dan copiar y ese es el que ocupan, porque ese es el que, el que le sale como correcto. Okay, para que no nos compliquemos con eso. She doesn't speak Portuguese. Gracias por decírmelo hasta ahora. Yeah, sorry, sorry, ya. Yeah. Ese día le dije, ya resolví. No me ah, pero no me preguntó. She doesn't speak Portuguese. We don't use computers, right? That is the first exercise. The second evaluation that we have in this, uh, in this part. Do you like music? Yes, I do, or yes, I does. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, right? Do you like music? Si tenemos do en el auxiliary, do in the answer, right? Do you like music? Yes, I do. Does Sara know English? No. It does. No, she? No, she does. She doesn't. No, she, she doesn't. Doesn't? She no, doesn't. Right? Doesn't. 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 No, doesn't. she doesn't. Do you and Wendell play the guitar? You and Wendell, two people. Yes? yes? We do. They do. Yes, they we do. Do. Ajá. do you and Wendell. ¿Se recuerdan cuando les decía que cuando usamos we, nosotros estamos incluidos? Cuando es they, usted no está invitado. Si aquí dijera Juanito en Wendell, no me están invitando a mí. Do es you, they. Ah, es que yes, do you and Wendell play the guitar? Yes? We do. We, do. We, do. Yes, we, we do. do. Yes, we do, porque tú estás incluido. You en Wendell. Pero si aquí fuera Gracias. Pedrito en Wendell, ellos, they. Okay. Gracias por incluirme. Does Roberto work in a bank? Roberto is he, right? Does Roberto work in a bank? He doesn't. No. No, he doesn't. Si decimos no, he does. Sería, no, el sí. <laughs> so, no, he doesn't, right? No, he doesn't. No, él no trabaja. No, he doesn't. Do Laura and Sally study in the morning? Laura and Sally. Yes, yes they do. Yes, they do. ¿Nos incluyeron en ese? Uh, no. Do Laura and Sally, right? Only the two of them. And then you click in enviar and then you have your 20 points there. Okay. okay, the next exercise that you have here. In the next exercise, exercise number eight, what do you do in the morning? Take a shower. Take a you shower. take a shower. Eat lunch is? Almorzar. <laughs> and prepare my supper. Supper, it's a synonym of? Supper is a synonym of? Ajá. Vamos a Google, rápido, rápido, busquémoslo, seamos prudentes. Ah, no, aquel día me dijo también buscar. <ríe> que no lo traduciera, Lele. No lo traduzca, Lele. But you can say, what is the meaning of? Cena. Very good. What is the meaning of that? Supper means cena. Right? Prepare my supper. No, that is not something that you do in the morning, right? Prepare my supper. I go to the park at night, at midnight, or in the morning? In the morning. In the morning. Ábrame el parque, por favor. At midnight. Y 
después ahí andan los TikTok de se me aparece una señora y que soy yo la que va al parque. <risa> do you work every day? Yes, do you I work do. every day? Yes, I do. Do you work? Yes, I do. Okay. No podemos decir oh, yes, God. I am porque estamos haciendo <risa> porque estamos haciendo do, right? No es are you, right? Yes, okay. do no es correcto. Tampoco. Yes, I do. Does she brush her teeth before going to bed? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, does she? It's not correct. And yes, she do? No. Okay, se muere un diccionario. Yes, she does. I, the bus at 7 a.m. Right? No, take, 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 take. I take. The bus at 7 a.m. ¿Por qué take? Take es el único verbo que está para eh, la forma simple. I, you, we, they. Porque drives está con S para he, she, it. Takes está con S para he, she, it. Okay? The simple form. There you go. That's complete and correct. Teacher. Yes. Y, lo, y esos videos que aparecen, ¿por qué dicen lo mismo? Aquí se van subiendo las clases que vamos completando. Okay? Ese es algo que de veras no les había eh, terminado de explicar. Sorry. Aquí se van subiendo sus clases. La clase 1 que tuvimos, ahí se sube. Y ahí están ustedes, hermosos, preciosos, lindos y adorables. There you go. El primero, la fila. Yes. <risa> so that is, eh, ahí se van a ir llenando conforme vayamos avanzando, pues obviamente se van llenando las diferentes clases. Oh, what a beautiful lady. I love her. Todas greñudas aparecen. Mi veo ahí. There you go. So. De después te buscas a médico ahí. Así se sienta usted en la clase. Mire, hasta allá va a que le veo solo zoom. So that's, that's why, ok? That's why. Ahí las clases que vamos subiendo todos los días, todas las clases que yo subo en YouTube todos los días, eh, se van llenando. Cuando se acabe el curso, vamos a tener todas las 20 clases ahí. Esto es okay. Hoy todos los días, bien peinaditos. De aquí para allá. Ay, ya ven. Yo no, yo no me peino por gusto. Yo creo que no me chudo. No es que es, es que es, es, es el ser original. It's okay. So it says instructions. Look at the pictures and choose the activity they are doing. He, he takes a shower, wakes up, or shaves. Wake, wake up. up. Wake up. He wakes up. That is the order, right? That is the order. What is the next one? He takes a shower. Take a shower. Um, he takes a shower. shower. He takes a shower and talks on the. <laughs> he takes a shower. He brushes. 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 He brushes his teeth. And That's the last his one, his number teeth. four. I know. He. Oh, sorry. He. Shaves. Shaves. Right? Shaves. And there you go. Right? Those are the four activities. He wakes up, he takes a shower, he brushes his teeth, and he shaves. Okay? Those are the four activities that you have right there. Right. In the next exercise that we have here, you see, unit number two was not really difficult. In this one, we have to say, I at 8.45 every morning. What do you do at 8.45 every morning? I go to work. I go to work. I usually drive to work. Exactly. Because the first one is drives and it's not for I. Driving to work, it's not correct. And drive to work, it's good because you say, I usually drive to work. I always, 
Always. When I get to work. Check my game. Check my emails. Very good. I always check my emails when I get to work. Because you cannot say, I always, I am checks. No, right? I always, I am check. No. I always check. Porque el que nos faltaba aquí era el verbo. I always check my emails. But I don't always. But I don't always. What do you do with an email? Yeah. Reply, right? Reply. Reply is reenviar o responder. I don't always reply to them immediately, right? I, at 12.30. Have lunch. I have lunch. I have lunch. And there you go. Those are the answers. In this section, you also have the exams. You also have the first evaluations. Tenemos las primeras evaluaciones aquí que se llaman midterm exams. Estas también tienen que estar completas. Por eso las vamos a trabajar juntos. Por si no las han terminado, pues las podemos hacer ya todos juntos. Michelle. Michelle is a man. Michelle, what do you use with he? Michelle is a floor manager. It's a floor manager. He is not. He is not. Ajá. ¿Por qué la última no está correcta? Exactly, because the apostrophe is not in the correct place. El apóstrofe no está en, el, en la posición correcta. Right? Mm -hmm. He is not a floor no. manager. What no. is the correct position of the apostrophe? You say? Isn't. Isn't. Right? And this one is incorrect. Right? Oh. The next one. The next one. I. I. Am a. Am an. Or a. Are a. I, um, am, um, um, I am an. ¿Por qué? Um, Porque la profesión um, comienza um, con vocal. I am vocal. an assembler. 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 Are we friends? Are we friends? Are we friends? No, we are not. No, we are not. Yes, we are. <laughs> no, we are not, right? Are your bosses here? Are your bosses here? Yes, you are. Are your bosses? Your? Sería ellos. Ah, yes, we are. Ellos. Are your bosses yes, here? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. ¿Por qué? Este your, este your se refiere a ellos. ¿Ok? Es el plural, la forma plural de you. Your bosses here. Your bosses sería ellos. ¿Están tus jefes aquí? Okay. Yes, they are. No. No, they are. I mean, in the example. Right? Uh -huh. No, they aren't. Right, but yes, they are. And, <laughs> yeah, porque lo queremos mucho. We love them. Americo. Americo. Okay, Americo. The next one. Let's go to the next one. Aquí no ha pasado nada. Let's go to the next exercise. What letter comes before the Q? P. Before, before, uh, before. Before, uh, antes. Antes. B. 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 How many B. letters are in the English alphabet? 26. Which are the vowels? A-E-I-O-U. Very good. Our teacher is from Canada. Is it correct or incorrect? Right. right. It's right, right? It's correct. Our teacher is from Canada. Yeah, La Colonia. Their class is at night. Right. right. It's right. Their class is at night. And there you go. Right? Chan, chan, chan. That was easy. That was an easy exam. Ese examen estaba regalado. The next one. Let's go with the next one. Number three. My boss are Elmer Argueta. ¿Cuál es el verbo correcto? 
Is. 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 My boss is Elmer Argueta. Mm. Nadia and Rita is the new teachers. Are. Are. Are the new teachers. Nadia and Rita, two people. We am secretaries. We are. We are. Mm -hmm. Very good. We are secretaries. Portuguese, doesn't she speak? She doesn't. She doesn't speak Portuguese. 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 She doesn't speak Portuguese. Don't computers we use? We don't use computers. We don't use computers, right? And there you're clicking enviar. And that's correct and complete. And one of the final evaluations that we have for this section is the one that we just finished. Este lo acabamos de hacer hace un ratito. Do you like music? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like music? Yes, I do. The next one, what is the next question? Can me ayuda a leerla? How does Sara know English? Does Sara know English? No. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay, negativo de does is doesn't. No, she doesn't. What is the next question? Yes, they do. No, what is the next question? Leamos la siguiente. Do you do you when the guitar? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Right? Yes, we do. Number four, can you read the question? Does she brush her teeth before going to bed? Yes, she yes, does. does. Question number five. Yes, Do you does. take a bus? Seven a.m. Do you take the bus? Very good. Do you take the bus at seven a.m.? Yes. Yes. Do you, yes, en este yes. caso, you se refiere a la persona plural. You are included. Do you take the bus at 7 a.m.? Yes. Yes, we, yes, yes, we do. do. Yes, we do. Porque aquí es como que les estuviera preguntando a todos ustedes. Do you take the bus at 7 a.m.? Yes, we do. And there you go. So, this is everything about section two. Todos estos ejercicios ya los tienen que tener ustedes completados, ¿ok? Yes. Yes. Everything. Everything has to be complete. Okay, so I need you to finish all of them. Necesito que tengan esto terminado este fin de semana. Así que porfa, porfa, no se atrasen en la plataforma. Si pueden seguir mucho más allá, go ahead and continue. Okay. In this one. This is what we started today. Eso es lo que empezamos a estudiar ahora. Okay. Do I get a newspaper? Okay. This is we are talking about a place. Aquí estamos hablando de un lugar. At the shop. ¿Cuál usábamos, cuál usábamos para el lugar? Shop. Shop is. Where. Right? Where. Where do I get a newspaper? Okay, just give me one second. Sigamos con las otras dos. Vuelvo en un momento. When does the game start? When does the game start? When does the game start? Right. When? When? When the when Let's continue. When we when 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 does the does, game start? On the answer you have on Sunday. So that is a time. When, when, right? When does mm. the game start? ¿Qué tenemos en la respuesta? My brother. 
¿Qué sería él? It's a person, right? So you say, who? Who do you live what? here with? What? My oh, brother. My who es una persona? Oh. My brother, right? I play the guitar. What? What? Exactly. Because what do you do in your free time? I play the guitar. By bus. Estamos diciendo una manera. By bus. Bus. How? 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 How do you get? How do you get to school? ¿Cómo te vas a la escuela? How? How do you get to school? By bus. When? Okay. No dices how, how, es una manera. Para manera es how, porque yo les digo todos los días, how are you? ¿Cómo están? ¿De qué manera se encuentran? Right? How are you? Exactly. So, that's something important. This is for section number three. You can start working on this section. You can finish this section if you want. That's okay. On the next classes, we are going to be working a little bit more on this one as well. But I wanted to introduce a little bit on the next parts that we are going to be developing. Give me just, okay, I need you to check that you finish with everything on the platform and I am going to move to the next exercise, okay? ¿Cuál tarea dos te quedaste esperando? Ah, for section number three. <laughs> no, I need you to work on that one. Ese es solo para que ustedes ya se vayan ya en la, en la siguiente. Teacher, hagamos toda la unidad tres. <laughs> toda la cuatro también, teacher. Terminemos la plataforma. No, I need you to develop Por favor. your skills. No, every Friday I check the platform with you. Cada viernes yo tengo esa costumbre de revisar plataforma, vemos plataforma, revisamos ejercicios para que ustedes no se me atrasen con nada. Okay, that's the idea of this one. That you don't fall behind on anything. Okay, so please, that is really necessary. I am going to send you right now, I am going to send you a link on the, on the chat and let me just copy it. Okay, I am going to send you a link here. Okay, music is all bad. Here we go. Yes, I am going. To, okay, here I am going to send it on the chat. Okay, I, I will send you a link on the chat and I'm going to send you as well on WhatsApp. And I need you to open it and work on that one, okay? So please, the music, I don't know who has the music. Thank you. Porque si no, no va a vetar YouTube. Okay. Did you open the link? I need you to open the link, please. Open the link that I sent you on the chat. Ahí se los mandé al chat de, de Zoom. Y también se los voy a enviar al chat de WhatsApp. Okay, here you go. You have two exercises there. I need you to open the exercise and I need you to work on that one. When you finish, I need you to send me the uh, screenshot. Okay, work on the exercise. Go ahead. I need you to work on the exercise. Ahí se los envié. Se los envié a WhatsApp, se los envié a Zoom para que lo trabajen. When you finish, send me the screenshots on the WhatsApp group. You are going to listen to the sentences and I need you to choose the correct answer. Two Ahorita answers. Lo hacemos. Yes, right now. Ahorita mismo. Tienen que escoger dos respuestas. Present simple, dice. Yes. Does your English teacher wake up early in the morning? What will be the two answers? English teacher wake up early in the morning. Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. We have to choose two answers. We have to choose two. Work, 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 work. Okay. Los voy a silenciar para que no les den las respuestas a los demás. 
This is personal. I need you to work. I need you to work on that. Finish and send me the answer, the screenshot with the result. Okay. Once you have it, let me know. And when you finish, thank you, thank you. Send me the result on WhatsApp. And I am going to send you the next one. This one is a little bit easier. Thank you, I got an answer. <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> you can take it as many times as possible, don't worry. Si nos fallamos la primera, lo podemos volver a tomar, lo podemos volver a hacer, it's okay. Tuve dos mal. And this is the next one, okay? I am sad. Ah, come on. I don't sleep. Ah, you won't eat anymore. There you have the next one. Ya les envié el otro. You can work on the next one. <laughs> Three of eight, Odalis, come on. You can do it again, don't worry. The good thing about this is that the links, you can take them as many times as possible. Aquí, si ya animo, salimos mal en una vez, lo volvemos a tomar, lo volvemos a hacer, lo volvemos a abrir, lo volvemos a escuchar. It's okay. So there you have the second exercise on the chat. And you can, you can do it again. It's okay. Odalis, you can do it again. Lo puede volver a hacer, Odalis. It's okay. Okay, I have another answer. Let me see. Oh, three, Americo. My God, you can do it again. It's okay. Oh, Ari, it's okay. Don't worry. You can you can do it later. Todos tan concentrados que se ven ahí. You look super concentrated. I have I had another one. Let's see. Eight of eight. Nice. Congratulations. Eight of eight. Four minutes, but it was good.
Ronald, did you finish the second one? Okay, work, 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 work. Voy a la mitad. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> The second one, it's a little bit easier than the first one. Second one, it's a little bit longer. That's the only one. Pero tienen una práctica totalmente completa. Okay, Alicia. Six of eight. Okay. It's good. It's good, Alicia. You can you can do it again. Six of eight for Adi. Sorry, I know. I I love to see your faces when you get a new one. It's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> El segundo ejercicio es cabal toda una práctica completa de todo lo que hemos estado haciendo. It's a little bit long, but good. Remember to check and send your answers when you finish. I will give you a couple of more minutes. Okay, I will give you two more minutes. Te puede dar dos minutos más si no lo pueden hacer after class. It's 
long, I know. Let's see. Carolina, seven of eight, nice. Griselda. Woo, almost perfect, Griselda. 57 of 60. That was nice. That was nice, Griselda. Very good job. 57 of 60. <clears throat> that was good. It was very, very, very good. So you can finish the second exercise after the class. You can finish later on because it, I know it's longer, right? Eso nos va a tomar un poquito más de tiempo. So let's move on the last activity that we are going to do. I know you want to finish the other one. You are going to have more time. The links are open, okay? Los links quedan abiertos. Ustedes lo pueden volver a tomar, lo pueden volver a hacer after the class anytime you want to do it okay <clears throat> so here we have two things my daily routine and my partner's daily routine the last five minutes of the class you are going to have the chance to talk to someone and this person is going to share a little bit of what he or she does every day in this one for example you are going to go and talk with someone and you are going to say, what do you do in your day? ¿Qué es lo que haces en el día? What do you do in your day? And you can take notes, right? I take a shower, I cook breakfast, I work, right? And you can give information. And you are going to take information about your friend's daily routine. When you come back, you are going to tell me a little bit about the other person, okay? Vamos a compartir acerca de qué hacen en su día a día y cuando regresemos van a compartir un poquito acerca de eso. Pero no me van a decir, I cook dinner, I cook lunch. No, you say, she cooks lunch, she takes a shower, she goes to work, right? You have to report. Vamos a reportar lo que el otro nos diga acerca de su rutina diaria. Okay, only three or four sentences. It's not a lot. No van a reportar mucho. Only three or four sentences about your daily routine. One example. Imagine that I work with eh, Evelyn Garcia. Imagine that I am working with Evelyn. Le vamos a hacer el ejemplo nosotras dos. Evelyn, can you tell me a little bit about your daily routine? What is your daily routine? Oh, your microphone, sweetie. Uh, my daily routine is first, I wake up. Mm -hmm. um, second, I dress. Uh, I get dressed, uh huh. Dress. First. I, I. <laughs> Give me just one more. I go to work. <laughs> I go to work. I go to work. Ajá. Entonces, lo que yo tengo que hacer es agarrar esa información que me dio Evelyn y le digo, ajá, okay. So, Evelyn wakes up, she gets dressed, and she goes to work. That's the information. And I will tell you, I cook breakfast. I go to work and I answer the emails. So you say the teacher, she wakes up, she cooks breakfast and she answers emails. Okay, three answers. Right now, just like an introduction, I am going to make the couples, okay? Para hacer la introducción a este ejercicio, voy a hacer las parejas. Pueden empezar a compartir. And in the next class, we are going to finish with this exercise. But I am going to recreate the groups. Okay. 
There you go. Those are the groups that we are going to have. And I just, I'm just going to move everything. No, I only have one. Oh, no, no, no. There you go. I will open the rooms for you to share a little bit of your daily routine. Ahí van a compartir un poquito de su daily routine with your partner. Go ahead. Great. So in order to finish with unit number two, we are going to share a little bit about daily routines. Let's listen how they are doing. Uh -huh. Levantarse. ¿Qué otra cosa que haga? Tres cosas. Uh -huh. En su rutina diaria. Sacalo, mamita, afuera. You can give different examples. I take a shower, I eat breakfast, I clean my house. You can give any example. Solo pueden dar cualquier ejemplo de actividades que se hacen en el día a día. Three. Three examples. You can use any verb. Pueden usar cualquiera de los verbos que ya estudiamos. So, continue. Uh -huh. She. Hi. She. What diría usted? Okay, right now, right now we're going to share activities. Ahorita van a compartir actividades. I clean the house, I take a shower, I cook breakfast, I go to work, I go to the office, right? Different activities. That's the idea, okay. that you start sharing different activities. Cuando regresemos a la clase, ahí sí ya reportamos. Ahorita just sharing, sharing, sharing. Right now, only share activities. Ahorita compartan actividades que ustedes hacen en su día a día. I clean the house. I go to work at 7 in the morning. I study English at 7 p.m. I eat dinner at 6 p.m. So only activities. Share activities, okay? Let's continue. Ajá. Arriba las manos. Ajá. El dúo dinámico me quedó junto aquí. Oh. So, right now you are only going to share activities. I eat breakfast at six in the morning. I go to work. I clean the house. Just mention activities. That's the only thing that you need to do. Okay, mention different activities that you do every day on your daily routine. Okay, ahorita solo vamos a repasar actividades that you do every day. Okay. He takes a shower. Okay, so you say he takes a shower. Ah, he takes a shower. He takes, uh, takes right. a shower. He takes a shower. Pero eso ya va a ser cuando reportemos, ¿verdad? ahorita compartamos. Porque, por ejemplo, Luis puede decir, I cook breakfast at 7 in the morning, I go to work at 8 a.m., I answer phone calls every day. So when you report, Ronald is going to say, well, Luis takes a shower, he goes to work, he answers the phone. So that will be when oh. we come back, okay? Right now, okay. share activities. Right now, share activities. He is.
Aha. Huh? Aha. Right is... now, share activities. Ahorita compartan solo sus actividades de su rutina diaria. I wake up at six in the morning. I go to work. I cook breakfast. I clean my house. So only activities. Only share ideas of activities. Cuando reportemos, cuando yo les pregunte, dígame una actividad que hace su compañero. Ahí sí. He cleans the house. He goes to work. Right? We transform. But right now, share activities. Okay? Yeah. I will go to the final group right now. Voy a ir al último group. And yes. Ajá. Ajá. I wake up. I wake up. ¿A qué hora? Me levanto a las cinco. So you say, I okay. wake up at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Uh -huh. A.m. Yeah. I, I have a five. I wake up at 5 a.m. I eat breakfast. I... Do you take a shower? I... Do you clean the house? I have reality. Y me preparo. I get ready. I get ready. Get ready. Eh, y me preparo el desayuno. Ah, I prepare breakfast. I prepare breakfast. Sí. So, Carolina, you can share another activity with, with Roxana. Sí. Yeah. I will bring students back. Okay, Aide de Guzmán, hello. Give me one activity that your friend does. Una actividad que hacía su compañera o compañero que le tocó. The microphone. Your microphone is off. Tu micrófono está apagado. She go to she go to work. She she go to work. She go to work. Or she goes. She goes to work. Ah, she goes to work. Okay. Aide se puede ir a dormir. Bye bye. Ajá. El que me diga una actividad que hace su compañero se puede ir a dormir. Tell me one activity that your partner does and you can go to sleep. Bye bye. Okay, Luis. Luis, go ahead. She plays video games on the weekend. She plays? He plays video games. Ah, the he plays video games on the weekend. Bye bye, Luis. Okay, Ronald next. También. Ronald. Como éramos el dúo. Ah, okay, Ronald, Ronald. <laughs> Give me one sentence, Ronald. No se durmió. ¿Quién se quiere ir a dormir? <ríe> Prendita Martínez, go ahead. He takes a shower. He takes a shower. He takes a shower. Bye bye. Bye bye, Luis. Brenda bye. Martínez. Bye. Bye. Chick time. Prendita. Chick boys. Lunch. Ok, she cooks lunch. Bye bye, Brendita. The next one. <ríe> No. Marta Alicia. She cooks lunch. She cooks, cooks lunch. Bye bye, Marta Alicia. Evelyn. She cleans her house. She cleans her house. Bye bye. Very good job. Edwin. Bye bye. He drives to work. Bye bye. He drives to work. Bye bye. 
Isabel. She, yeah. she will will up four a.m. She wakes up. She wakes up at wakes four. Up at four a.m. 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 She wakes up at four a.m. Very good. Bye bye, Isabel. Americo. She uh, she got home seven p.m. She gets home at 7 p.m. Bye bye, Americo. Brenda Garcia. Papa. Your microphone, Brendita. Um, 4 a.m. She wakes up at 4 a.m. Selena le ganó. Mire, bye bye, Selena. Brenda Garcia. She brushes her teeth. She brushes her teeth. She, okay, drink she drinks coffee, she brushes her teeth. Griselda, bye bye. Brendita, bye bye. Selena, bye bye. Very good. Who's next? Me falta. Me falta Astrid. Me falta. Quiero ver. Carolina. Selena. Roxana. Aquí vamos a dormir. He gets up at five in the morning. He gets up at five in the morning. Very good job. Bye bye, Roxana. Emily. No, you have to. Okay, so you can go <laughs> to sleep. No, pero yo estoy viendo. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Emily, go, go. Brenda. Yo ya lo dije. Okay. Ah, también. Yeah. Estamos de, de, de admiradoras ahí. Norma, yo vine a Normita. <laughs> Normita. Yo no quería decir esa palabra. Norma, Norma. Vamos, vamos, you can do it. Astrid. She cleans house. She cleans the house. She cleans the house. Bye bye, Astrid. You can leave. And Odalis. Ay, Dios, Odalis sí se va a quedar a dormir conmigo. Ya vi. Roxana, ya estuvo. Carito, Car Carolina Durán. Uh, she wake up at five. Uh, yeah. She wakes up at 5 a.m. She wakes up at 5 a.m. And Norma? Vamos, Normita. Dígame una. Ah, Odalis, termínela. Vamos. She gets a dress. She gets dressed. She gets dressed. Very good, Odalis. Norma es la última y nos vamos a dormir. A dormir parrilla. <laughs> uh -huh. Ajá. Le escucho. He drinks coffee. He drinks coffee. Very good job. He drinks coffee. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. And I will see you on Bye. Tuesday for the next class. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye -bye.